Hello everyone. Welcome. My name is Ashutosh Badwe. I head the global product management team here at Red Hat, responsible for our developer programs as well as our developer portal developers.redhat.com where you can find all our open source technologies. Uh, you can learn about them, do some hands-on training there, as well as try out our products. Thank you on behalf of all my colleagues here, as well as the larger Red Hat family, for taking time out of your busy schedule and spending the day with us. In fact, we talk to our customers, and they almost say it's like a traffic jam of ideas in their brains. As soon as they are done processing one set of concepts, there's a new set of concepts to deal with. We call it cognitive overload. So as we set about planning this conference, one goal we had in mind was to reduce the cognitive overload. That is actually the mission of our product teams, of the whole company. And that's how we hope, at the end of the day, you folks go back a little bit smarter about how to utilize open source technologies for some of the challenges you guys are facing. On the other hand, we want to be smarter by learning from you. You are facing real world challenges and we'd love to understand how you are looking to solve them. We are at an in-person event. There's a lot of uh, uh, Red Hat colleagues, subject matter experts here, as well as our local team. So we hope to connect with you today as well as after the event. Let me first quickly walk you through the agenda here. Uh, I'm going to be talking for a few minutes, after which Amita and Ramki will walk you guys through what Red Hat thinks about developer experience and how we are going about our mission of boosting developer productivity. After that, myself and Yashwant uh, will take a little bit of a step back. We'll look at the modern cloud native application development landscape of open source technologies. We look at those technologies in terms of how they manifest themselves in a day-to-day -day developer workflow. And then we'll walk you through an exciting tool that we have called Developer Sandbox, which lets you essentially take the entire cloud native application development stack and rapidly experiment with it at no cost without any setup, without depending on anybody for setup and configurations. After that, we have a coffee break, and then my colleague Mohit, he'll walk you through our entire developer tools portfolio, with special emphasis on the developer hub. This is based on an open source project called Backstage, and it's specifically geared towards solving the problem of developer onboarding. Developers come in, they join different teams, different projects, you have to onboard them into standard tools, processes, and methodologies. That's what this product solves for. We couldn't have a conference without mentioning AI, so we have an AI session. But seriously speaking, uh, in order to make full use of the innovations that are happening in the AI world, the real challenge in front of enterprises is how to do that while maintaining sovereignty, control, security, privacy over valuable corporate data. That's what uh, we're going to talk about in this session, and we're excited to share with you a new product we have called OpenShift AI. We'll break for lunch, and after that we have two deep dive tracks. There's a developer track, which will first start with how you can do containerization, Kubernetes development on your local laptop with tools like Podman Desktop. Then we'll look at how to do advanced uh, cube native development with new frameworks like Quarkus. We'll end the dev track. I hope, okay, you are able to see it. We'll end the dev track with the two deep dives. One is about uh, intelligent data pipelines using technologies like Apache Kafka. And then we'll end the day showing you how you can utilize Argo CD and GitOps for customizing your cube clusters and applications. On the parallel side, we have the DevOps track. We'll begin the DevOps track deep dive talking about Red Hat Enterprise Linux. It's Red Hat Enterprise Linux is full of capabilities 
that let you focus on application development versus application maintenance, application compatibility, and so on. We'll talk to you about that and also excited to share how we are extending the same capabilities that you've come to expect with Red Hat Enterprise Linux all the way to the edge. Next, we have a deep dive on Ansible Lightspeed. It's a result of a collaboration between Red Hat and uh, IBM, Watson X. It brings the power of LLMs to AI-assisted code generation for automation developers. There's a very exciting demo there. You press, you write some natural language, you press enter and code comes out. So hopefully you'll, you'll like that. Uh, we'll end the DevOps track uh, with a session on DevSecOps. This is a very important uh, uh, evolution of the DevOps workflow, where security, instead of looking at it as a hurdle and a check that you have to overcome at the end of the application development cycle, we are coming up with a set of tools which bring security into the DevOps workflow from day one. That's what this talk is about. And we'll end the day with talking about event-driven Ansible. You have your application in landscape out there. You have your Kubernetes infrastructure. Things are happening, events. How to handle those events in an automated manner and react and process them using Ansible. We hope all of us, all of you will take advantage of being here in person and join us at the end of the day for some networking and refreshments. So, we also have some take-home resources for you. Everything you hear about today, as well as a lot more, is available on developers.redhat.com. If you scan the QR code, both the agenda as well as all the resources are available for you. So, without further delay, I'm going to now welcome Amita Roy and Ramki on the stage to talk about developer experience at Red Hat and how we are going about our mission of boosting developer productivity. Thank you.